guys, today I'm going to do a quick video on my new SIBO 300 Evolution. Um, I got this off Spock for 20 quid, and it's alright, it smells quite bad, um, it just smells of dirt, really. It's complete with all its cleaning tools, I think you have to buy the dusting brush extra for these, I'm not too sure. But it's got its original orange cable, which is nice which just comes out here. The quarter hook is really nice on the back. I'm going to keep this and sell my X4. So, because I like this one better. It's got the manual height adjustment down here. So you just press this button, there's a little number in there. It's on two at the moment. Press it again, it's on three. Sometimes it does skip a bit. Oh, there you go. There's four, three, two, and one. Now, when I just done that, it isn't because the handle release broke is broken. It's a safety feature to stop you snapping the handle release, uh, which I, I found out uh, last night on a YouTube video. We have the wand on the front, which hasn't seen much use. Here's the hose. Uh, it's got a good cool cable replacement feature. Let me just take the hose off. It's got the same hose in X4, I think. Uh, it's got a cool cable replacement feature. You press this button at the top here, and it pulls out. And you pull um, the cable out of these two clips here. Pull it down the front of the machine, and there's your cable plug, which I suppose you just replace this whole cable. Unlike the X4, there's no electronics in this top part, it's just the, um, well, I think it's just the, the cable connector, unless it's, um, yeah, the cable connector's down at the bottom here, so everything's just contained in here, that is electronic, which is cool, so, it's back on, here's the uh, cable plug, that just plugs straight back in there, really, very easy feature. It does need a good cleanness, so it is going to get fully stripped, etc. Now, when I got it, it had been used bagless for some stupid reason. Now, this takes BS36 bags, um, but I don't have any, and I'm not going to buy none because I only make them in paper bags. So, X4 bags fit, which I've not had to modify. All you've got to do, really, is just kind of stretch the intake, I've used it a bit, you can see, over this. There's the filter out of my X4. I am got, um, I swapped the filters around, the other one's a bit more bobbly kind of thing, but um, this one's new, so I'll keep it in this one. Here's the post mode filter here, which does need replacing, it's just a kind of pleated affair. Goes in here, looks like a car air filter. One of the panel air filters. There you go. That's it. And this just pops in here. You can just push it straight on the um, the bag fill tube. After a few tries, and it even pushes that thing in, so you don't have to kind of push it as you um, yeah, you put the bag door on. So there you go. So let's just put the one back on. Now it's missing the end cap on the brush roll. So, I will have to source one of those. So, it's missing the end cap there. So, it doesn't pick up very well. But what I find cool is that you can just line this brush up here. And then you pull the brush up like that. And the brush actually comes out in just one strip. Which is quite cool. And you can buy stiffer brushes, which I'm going to buy. Which enhance the performance so, and it just pushes around the roller the roller doesn't come out I think this brings all the hairs out with it as well I'm not too sure on the bottom it looks a bit like an X4 it's got the same kind of wheel there and the trap door and all that gubbins so it does work quite well 
and just plug it in. It sounds like an X4 bit, but it's got a bit more of a rumble to it. As it is a commercial machine, it's not as uh, quiet as the X4. Well, the X4 wasn't very quiet anyway. And the on off switch is on the side of the machine here, so. Just... So when I get it, I just gave it a quick wipe over, I sift the bumper a little bit and got all the paint marks off on the sides that are there. But it does need a full strip down um, and clean. And it should come up like brand new, really. I might even do a full review and demo of it as well. So that should be cool. And the cable is a bit black dirt. So... It worked fine. I just untangle all of this. There we go. So and it winds up on the back here. Like that. So it's very simple. Commercial machine. And then you can just put the plug through the back here. Like that. So there you go. Thank you for watching this quick video. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. And bye for now.